Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekly love reading. Thank you so much for joining me today for your reading. Hope you guys have all been doing well and welcome back. If you are a returning subscriber, if you are a new subscriber, welcome. Uh, yes, I have changed up my format a little bit here and I was gone for the past few weeks um, only because we did have a um, we did have that Mercury grade, Mercury retrograde in Pisces, which was very difficult for me to deal with over the last two weeks because I have a stellium in the 12th house and it kind of threw a wrench in things for me. So, but I'm back and better than ever. So, really happy, really happy to be back because this is definitely my happy place to be. So, I uh, just wanted to go over what we're doing today for your reading. I'm going to be pulling four cards from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Um, we're going to look at a couple things going on with you and uh, love and relationships this week. Um, we're also going to pull some messages from the Romance Angels, the Sex Fortunes, and the Crystal Tarot deck, Crystal um, Stone deck. So if that sounds good, let us go ahead and begin your reading, Scorpio. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to get all the cards shuffled and laid out here, and then we're going to go ahead and start with the reading. So show me what's going on for Scorpio with regards to their love lives. April 1st. April 1st through the 7th, 2019. For all Scorpio suns, moons, risings, and Scorpios on the house cast, what do they need to know regarding love and relationships? From April 1st through the 7th, 2019, show me their current situation, who is coming towards them, a challenge they will be facing in love, and the outcome slash future, or their future outcome for the situation. What is your love message? What are the love messages or love message and energy? What are the love messages and energies for Scorpio? Romance Angel Spirit from April 1st through the 7th, 2019 for all Scorpio suns, moons, Pisces. position that will be best for Scorpio April 1st through 7th. This is their weekly love reading. What is the Kama Sutra position that is best for Scorpio April 1st through 7th? Can okay, you guys have two cards for that one? Okay, what crystal will be beneficial for Scorpio to use? during this period of time to help them with their love lives and relationships, all kinds of relationships. Okay. All right, let's begin. Scorpio, your current situation. We have sacral chakra in reverse. So this is your second highest chakra. Rules uh, Pisces and Sag energy. It's also Jupiter energy. Jupiter currently in Sag. 
Uh, so you may be affected by the Jupiter and Sag energy that we're currently experiencing, or you may have Pisces, Sag energy, uh, Jupiter placements, whatever that are uh, impacting you right now. What I'm really getting is since the sacral chakra, your second highest chakra, um, it's it rules like um, the lower stomach area, abdominal region, center for your um, self-esteem, self-assurance, um, feeling where it was, if it's out of balance, you might feel ungrounded. You might have issues with um, feeling worthy, self-acceptance. Um, uh, this can also definitely, this can definitely impact your self-esteem and or, uh, you know, your sex life. So it's important to get the sacral chakra balanced. Um, uh, orange also, wearing the color orange, eating uh, oranges, citrus, um, that can really help actually uh, to do that. Um, I'm definitely seeing here though that there's some blockage for you currently um, in that area. So just think about ways in which you can improve and bring that back into balance. So who's coming towards Scorpio? Okay, we have Master. So this is the Devil card in the Major Arcana. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, but what I'm also getting here is that someone is more in the fear mindset than the love mindset. So they're projecting their fears onto you. Um, or they're, in this card, the heart is behind bars. So. They are afraid, they are afraid of something that may be afraid of losing you. This could also be a codependent relationship, um, someone that's dealing with addictions. Um, uh, anyone that uh, is dealing, you know, love and fear are mutually exclusive. Um, you can't have, can't have both. Oh, you can, but one will eventually cancel out the other. So you could be dealing with someone who, um, is under some kind of a vice, has some sort of vice, and they could be projecting a lot onto you, affecting your self-esteem. Okay, so this needs to be sorted out, definitely. Because I'm getting that this person isn't projecting love, they're projecting their fear. Alright, and that, that's definitely something that's in, it's impacting you. Um, it's impacting you energetically. Okay. What is a uh, challenge Scorpio will be facing this week? Okay, we have spread your wings in reverse. So this is the two of wands in the tarot. Um, usually this has to do with choice, options. Um, knowing that you can stay where you are, but you also could potentially um, have another option in front of you, which is more, more tempting. Uh, your challenge is to see that you have options. You don't have to, to feel hopeless and lost. You don't have to feel directionless. Um, there's a There could be a situation as well where some plans are falling through or you're not really seeing the way forward at this moment. They want you to spread your wings, Scorpio. They want you to see that the, you've got this beautiful runway in front of you and they want you to just run down and take off and, and fly and set sail. I, I guess I wanted to say set sail more than I wanted to say fly, but you get the point. There's there's definitely hope and direction in front of you. Um, so maybe a little trouble finding your way when it comes to love or feeling a little bit lost or hopeless or feeling like um, you know you can move forward now, but you're just not sure where to go, who to turn to, what to do. The outcome and future for the situation, we have just breathe in reverse, so this is the Four of Swords. Okay, so definitely you are needing to take a break now around relationships and love, okay, because your mind is very tired, your thought processes are getting very stagnant at this time. Um, breathing exercises, getting some fresh air, meditation. Uh, mostly this is a mental energy, so it's telling me you need to relax your mind, get into that calm state of mind. I'm also getting that some of you, it would be good for you to, um, I don't know if you're into hypnosis, but sometimes just listening to someone's voice 
can be very therapeutic. Like if someone has a really pleasant voice or if you're familiar with the ASMR community, there's a big ASMR community on YouTube um, and, and around the world in general, um, it would be a good time for you to do some mental relaxation. But I'm definitely seeing that you don't need to make all the decisions this week, especially when it comes to love. And definitely give yourself a breather, okay? Give yourself some space. You're going to need it. So romantically speaking, um, the angels want you to know that you deserve love, Scorpio. You are so lovable, and they are lining something up for you. You just cannot see it yet. They're behind the scenes. One of your angels in particular wants you to know that you are so lovable and you deserve love, and don't ever forget that. So they are definitely working on something for you right now. It is in the works. So you need to remain confident and hopeful that things are going to work out for you no matter what. Okay, your Kama Sutra and Six Fortunes. We've got the Three of Flush Swords, which is the Three of Swords. This is a Libra energy, and we have the Two of Cliffs, which is the Two of Cups, which is a Pisces energy. So you could, um, some of you are dealing with a heartbreak, a separation, a loss, a betrayal, potentially a love triangle. Um, there could also be here some darkness around your love life, but I'm, I'm sensing that this, this is with regards to a soulmate, someone that you do see or relate to on a daily basis. And I, I do feel like there's potential here for things to get much, much better. Um, cause I'm seeing rain clouds and rainstorms, but I'm also seeing here things clearing up by the end of the week. So that's why you have these two energies. Um, if you have a choice between a Libra or a Pisces, I definitely would, I definitely think that Pisces is the better option for you. And if you're dealing with a, a Capricorn, um, you probably um, are going to want to take some space so that you can, you know, really start feeling hopeful again and, and see that you do have options and you don't have to stay where you are and you don't, um, you aren't lacking direction. <clears throat> you abs absolutely have a place to go and a, and, um, you know, a, a runway in front of you to, they do want you to spread your wings. They want you to take off um, here, but there can be some pain, um, some separation going on here with a soulmate. Okay. All right. So your crystal is magnesite. And what it is, so heady magnesite is a magnesium carbonate crystal that ranges in color from clear to porcelain white to off pink to sepia toned. It's sometimes grooved, brain like appearance mimics its cerebral energy. You know, it does kind of look like a brain, doesn't it? And we have this mental energy here with the Four of Swords in reverse. Your brain needs a break. So, who needs this? Intellectuals and Aquarians. All right, um, where to put it? Wherever you go to quiet the mind or wake it the fuck up. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing here more that you need to quiet your mind down a little bit. You, you, you're really intellectualizing a situation or you're really in your head about something. Um, when to use it, Scorpio? When you're just too smart for your own good, when you're completely lost in your thoughts, or they're running wild, dragging you behind them, remember, the mind is a powerful thing, but you rule it, or it rules you. Meditate every day and show it who's boss with magnesite. So they want you to get your mind right. All right, so if you've been feeling off mentally, or if you've been feeling a little bit um, foggy-brained, um, Hence, uh, I'm definitely getting here, you know, we can focus, we can focus so much on our body and our health and all this stuff, but if our brain is deteriorating, if our brain is diseased, if our, if we're dealing with depression, other types of things like this, it's going to affect everything. So really, this is about your brain health this week. Let's get that in good shape. And there, there are some mental energies here coming up in your reading. Um, and this could have to do with obviously some, tr something traumatic that you're, that you've been thinking about, um, because swords do have to do with thoughts, communication. So something here may have pierced your heart, 
communication why something here you just can't stop thinking about it and it is really affecting you so we want to get your brain back to normal here um, and sometimes yes you can be too smart for your own good so don't overthink this you want to give yourself a break this week especially when it comes to that beautiful mind of yours Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning in for this weekly love reading. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I send you off with love and light. Take good care of yourselves. Bye.